It's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and we're on day two with the Kubota excavator. Yesterday could not have went any better. It got delivered in the morning. Joe, the operator, showed up to run it, and we dug out two enormous stumps. One of them was really pretty crazy because it was grafted onto a rock about 10 feet long and 5 feet wide. If you didn't watch the stump removal video, I'll link to that at the end if you want to check it out. But then after that, we scraped off all the topsoil and moved it down to this end so that we can use it for grading out around the building when we're done. Today the goal is to see how far we can get on actually setting grade and getting this ready for the building. What we're putting in is a 30 foot by 60 foot Quonset hut. And from the low corner down here, we're a foot high here, four foot high in the back corner, and five foot high down here. We're going to take the dirt from the high corner, move it to the low corner, and get that all leveled out. Then I've got 100 tons of rock on the way, and we'll be putting a rock bed on it. We also have to dig a foundation on each side because we're going to put a two-foot wall for the building to set on. So, a lot of work to be done, but I've got a good operator, a good machine, and then I'll be on a tractor, maybe help a little bit. When Joe got here to start the first morning, I told him that this is his show and we're going to do whatever he thinks is the best way to get the job done. So basically today what he did was dig down until he was through the rock layer and set it behind him and then I just tried to move those spoils out of the way and off this pad as efficiently as I could without getting in his way. And he just methodically worked his way across the entire area like this, removing all that rocky soil, trying to get down to the good stuff. If you notice that lighter colored material here at the front, that's because we're right behind the wood shop and we used to compost our sawdust right here. We've now found a better system for that, but that's what he's digging up and getting rid of right now. That top layer of dirt is full of big rocks that are hard to grade out, but about a foot down you hit some good shale and, and clay mixture kind of that is going to make a good surface to spread and grade out. Check it out, see what it's all about. 
But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant. Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm kind of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I go back where I came. My friends are still the same. I guess the slow life hit me just right, like a bonfire on a cold night. Hell, and you can keep your nine to five. Have to win the simple life. Yeah, I ain't here to try to change your mind. I'm trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this. Funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's all right by me. I got everything that I need. But there is pregnant, paycheck, rat race. What's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I'll go back where I can. So we're running this Kubota mini excavator just because that's what they happen to have at the place I decided to rent from. Now Joe drives a Kubota compact tractor and it's a little bit bigger tractor than mine but he got a little bit of seat time today on my 2038R and I don't want to give you his full review but I will say I don't think he's switching to John Deere anytime soon. If you stick around to the end of the video I'm going to throw in a little clip showing you how I use my artillery and grapple kind of like a rock bucket to sort the rocks out of this dirt. I think a lot of people, myself included, tend to underestimate the skill and expertise that goes into a job like this. First you have to understand exactly what needs done, which I did not understand when we started this job, that there are distinct levels of soil here. You've got the top soil first that we scraped off and set to the side. Then you have a rocky layer that's, you can't grade that rock out. So if you just start on this end, dug it all out and moved it over there, then you'd have a mix of the topsoil and the rocks and you wouldn't be able to grade it. What I learned from Joe is if you remove the topsoil and separate it out, then you take that rocky layer and get it out of the way, you still have the slope you started with, but now the ground you're working with is workable. So, seems like it should be obvious or common knowledge, but I wouldn't have 
approached it that way if I was doing this by myself. All right, well, day one, we got the two giant stumps out and we got the topsoil off. Day two, we took another foot of dirt off of the entire site and used that to start the runouts here. So now what we're left with is good workable soil that we can actually set grade on tomorrow. By the end of the day tomorrow, all of this should be graded out. I'm real happy with the progress we're making. And everything's going pretty much according to plan. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos. And I'll see you next time.